Prevalent Instruments Part 4 Welcome to the lecture series on Carnatic music. In this session, we shall begin discuss about another popular instrument, flute. The following topics are dealt in this session. Introduction Stages in the development of flute Development of the fingering technique Structure and construction of the Indian concert flute other materials for making flutes, posture of play, mode of playing, care and maintenance, and renowned flute players. Introduction The flute comes under the category of wind instruments. Wind instruments are those in which the sound is produced by setting in vibration a column of air inside a tube. It has various names such as Basuri, Venu, Vamshi, Kural and Murali. In very remote times, flutes were made of bones. Slender bones of birds were made into whistles and some of them are still found amongst the Red Indians. Bone flutes have been found in excavations in Central Europe and in the cliff dwellings of Colorado and the ancient caves of California. Stages in the development of flute Stage 1 The early man in sojourning after the necessities of life came across bamboo forests from whence he heard sweet musical notes. On closer observations, he found that these notes were produced by the wind dashing against the holes drilled on the sides of the bamboo stem by shafters and beetles. This gave him the idea of preparing a musical pipe by artificially drilling holes on the sides of bamboo stems or other suitable material and supplying his own air to produce the notes. Thus, the earlier musical pipes were made of wood, bamboo or reed, had a mouth hole with or without a few finger holes. These were capable of producing only a few notes. Stage 2 With the increase in musical knowledge, attempts were being made to make flutes that could produce all the seven notes with facility and ease. The seven notes were played in their Arohana Krama by closing all the finger holes and opening them in succession from the right towards the left in the direction of the mouth hole and vice versa for playing the notes in the Avarohana Krama. Stage 3 with the perception of subtler shrutis and recognition of distinct scales, attempts were made to pierce finger holes at such points that the different scales or modes known to them were played with the same system of fingering in a mechanical way. As a consequence, there emerged distinct and separate flutes that were graduated to different scales. Stage 4. It was found inconvenient to change flutes for every mode. In order to overcome this difficulty, attempts were made to produce different semitones with the same flute by partially closing or opening of the finger holes. The advantage of an eighth finger hole helping to produce an additional lower note was recognized and all subsequent flutes came to have eight finger holes. At the same time, the system was greatly modified to enable the notes ranging over two and a half octaves to be played with ease. Development of the fingering technique In the first stage, 
there is no possibility of the existence of any definite fingering system since the primitive flutes had very few finger holes. The player sometimes employed the fingers of one hand, sometimes both hands to produce notes. The system of fingering was not constant. In the second stage, as the flutes came to have seven notes, the need for a definite system of fingering arose. Three fingers of the left hand, excluding the thumb and the little finger, and four fingers of the right hand, excluding the thumb, were used for closing the seven finger holes. The seven notes were played in their Arohana Krama by opening the holes in succession from the right towards the left, that is, in the direction of the mouth hole. At a particular stage, it was possible that five extra finger holes were bored to play semitones. The finger holes of the unwanted semitones were closed with little pegs or tubes so as to produce the required mode or raga. Structure and Construction of the Indian Concert Flute The Indian flute consists of a simple cylindrical tube of uniform bore closed at one end. The bamboo stem chosen to make a flute should have the following qualities. It should be straight, clean and smooth and free from notches, cracks, depression and protrusions. It should neither be too old or too young, too thick or too thin. The bamboo tree should not have been rocked to and fro by the wind. It should not have holes bored by beetles and shafters. It should be dried in shade for about a year. The length of the flute is 14 inches. The cross section of the tube may be 3 fourths of an inch. The mouth hole is pierced at a distance of 3 fourths of an inch from the closed end. The mouth hole end may be naturally closed by the node of the stem or it can be closed by a stopper or a cock. The distance between the mouth hole and the nodal point or stopped cock point should be equal to the diameter of the tube. Flutes with larger cross sections will have a thin tone. Eight or nine holes are pierced in a straight line to the mouth hole. The finger holes are slightly smaller than the mouth hole. The mouth hole is called Mukharandra and the finger hole nearest the Mukharandra that produce the note of the highest pitch is called the Tararandra. Other materials for making flutes. Flutes can be made of ivory, sandalwood, cane, reed, gold and silver. But the bamboo flute is considered to be the best. Posture of play. The concert flute is held horizontally with a slight inclination downwards. The two thumbs are used to hold the flute in position. Three fingers of the left hand, excluding the thumb and the little finger, and four fingers of the right hand, excluding the thumb, are used for closing the seven finger holes. The eighth finger hole at the extreme right is left open and is closed only when it is desired to play the rishaba of the lower octave. At such times, the little finger of the left hand is used to close the fourth finger hole 
and the four fingers of the right hand are used to close the fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth holes. Mode of playing the flute is played by blowing air obliquely against the mouth hole. The vibrations in pitch are caused by changing the length of air column by closing and opening of the finger holes. The following is the mode of fingering adopted for playing the various notes. Sa is produced by closing the first two finger holes and blowing a steady streak of air across the mouth hole. For Re, only the first finger hole is closed. Ga is produced by keeping all the holes open. For sounding Ma, the first hole alone is open while the other six holes are kept closed. Pa is played by closing the first five holes. Da is played by closing the first four holes. Ni is played by closing the first three holes. Tarasthai Sa is heard when the first two holes are closed and a much stronger and steady stream of air is blown into the orifice. The scale played in this way is Hari Kamboji scale. The other five notes Shuddha Rishabam is produced by closing the first hole fully and the second hole partially and blowing a steady current of air across the mouth hole. Sadharana Gandharam is played by partially closing the first hole. Pratimadhyamam is played by closing the first five holes fully and the sixth hole partially. Shuddha Daivatam is sounded by closing the first four holes fully and the fifth hole partially. By closing the first two holes completely and the third partially, Kakali Nishadam is heard. Tarasthai Pratimadhyamam is heard by closing fully the first, second, fifth and sixth holes and the third hole partially. To produce these notes in the Tara and Mandara registers, the fingering is almost the same as for the middle register, but the blowing should be stronger for Tarasthai and softer for Mandarasthai. According to Sarangadeva, closing all the holes is called Nipidita and opening all the holes is Mukta. Ardhamukta refers to partially closing the holes. The quarter tones are produced by opening and closing the finger holes to the desired extent that is by exposing one quarter or half or three fourths area of the finger holes. Just as in stringed instruments, in the flute also there is Sahitya and Swarapadhati of playing. Cross fingering is a case wherein Air is allowed to escape through a finger hole left open between closed finger holes on either side. In cross fingering, a note of fixed pitch alone can be played. Some of the semitones are also produced by cross fingering. Example, Sadharana Gandharam is heard when the holes 2, 3 and 4 are closed and blown. Finger strokes are used to play the Madhyamakala and Trikalam Sangatis of musical compositions and are of great importance. The use of finger strokes in appropriate places renders flute playing a real treat to the ear. Tuttakaram 
is the most effective method of playing Jantaswaras. In this method, a puff of air is blown across the mouth hole for each note. Unless Tuttakaram are practiced to a refined degree, the puffs themselves will be heard which would spoil the melodic music. Tuttakaram refers to the tonguing methods. When faster passages are to be played, double tonguing is resorted to. The requisite for acquiring a good style of flute playing are Breath control This implies the ability to obtain without much strain an adequate supply of air and a good control of the amount of air that is given out while playing. Lip control. The function of the lips is to perform the air supply into a small jet which will prevent the unnecessary spreading of air before striking the outer edge of the mouth hole. It also helps alter the rapidity of the air stream. This air stream should be directed at the outer edge of the mouth hole at an angle best suited to set to vibration the air in the flute. In order to achieve this, the hole should be turned out slightly so that its outer edge is raised a little above the level of the inner lip. The rapidity of the air stream is regulated by altering the size of the slit between the lips. The greater the compression of the lips, the smaller the aperture and greater the control of the amount of air that is given out and the higher will be the pitch of the note. Finger control This depends partly on the way the instrument is held. The flute should be supported in such a way that it is quite steady on the lips and that there is little or no interference with the freedom in the action of the fingers or the thumb of the left hand. The flautist should have a good control while playing the finger strokes for Madhyamakalam and Trikalam Sangatis and cross fingering techniques. Tonguing The tongue punctuates the air stream exactly when required without disturbing the formation of the lips. When faster passages are to be played, double, triple or quadruple tonguing are resorted to. Flutter tonguing is used to play passages in the Shatkala. Here, the tongue is made to vibrate in a tremendous manner. Care and Maintenance since the flute is a natural woodwind instrument, it is prone to cracks and thermal stresses while playing. Avoid playing in very cold conditions. This causes the bamboo to expand unevenly and develop cracks because of the warm air blown into it. Frequently oiling the flute is recommended as this conditions the bamboo and makes it last longer. Usually, slight amount of mustard oil is used on the inside of the flute. Some flute players and makers prefer linseed oil or walnut oil to mustard oil owing to its strong aroma. Oiling must never be done on the threads or near the blowing hole on the inside. A small cotton swab soaked in the oil should be applied on the inside about 2 inches away from the blowing hole. It must be made sure that the flute is cold before oiling, that is, not recently played because recently played flutes have moisture on the bow surface. After oiling is done, it is allowed to soak completely. 
The frequency of oiling depends on the climatic conditions in which the flute is played. Dry, hot climates require oiling as frequent as four to six times a year. If, in case, cracks develop on the flute, they will most likely destroy the tuning of the flute. To prevent further damage due to cracks, apply instant glue with lower viscosity so that it can seep into the crack and bond the crack and then bind the area with threads. Nylon threads can be used. Renowned flute players Well-known flute players in India include Panalal Ghosh, Raghunath Prasanna, Raghunath Seth, Bholanath Prasanna, Hari Prasad Chaurasya, Vijay Raghav Rao, Rajendra Prasanna and Ronu Mojumdar in the north. Sarabha Shastri, Paladam Sanjeeva Rao, T. R. Mahalingam, Tyagarajan, Dr. N. Ramani, Professor Dr. Prapancham Sitaram, Mala Chandrasekhar, K. Bhaskaran, Kudamallur Janardhanan, K. S. Gopalakrishna, Sikkil Sisters, Shashank Subramanyam in the south. The flute is a monophonous instrument and can cover two and a half octaves. It is a popular solo instrument and also an important part of the Bharatanatyam concert. It is associated with Lord Krishna. So far, we had discussed about the flute and the main features relating to it. In the next session, we shall discuss about another popular instrument of Carnatic music. Thank you. Thank you.